Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and this demonstration blog, Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team, is using WordPress version 3.0.1 along with the thesis theme version 1.8 and what I'm going to teach you in this tutorial video will work with any version of WordPress, any version of thesis theme or any WordPress theme at all. Now I'm going to scroll down here. What I'm going to be teaching in this video is how to auto-embed a video into a blog post or page. Now in a previous video that I created called adding a YouTube video to a blog post or page. Now in that tutorial I taught you how to manually embed the code for a YouTube video into your blog post and the result the end result was this little video here. What I'm going to teach you how to do in this particular video is under this sentence right here, this is a great post about horses, yay. Now right under that sentence, I'm going to auto embed the exact same video so you can compare between manually embed and auto embed and see which method is best for you to use. Okay, step number one, go to YouTube, find a video you like, I've already done that, and that is this video about horses, okay? And there it is. Now, once you find the video that you like in YouTube, you don't need to be a subscriber or a member or have a channel or anything like that. Just find a video you like. Go into this white space up here is called the address bar in the browser. I'm using the Google Chrome browser. You just click in there once. And if that doesn't work, just highlight the complete URL or web address of this YouTube video. After you've done that, you're going to right click and copy. Now, if you're in Firefox or Internet Explorer, Safari, whatever, you want to make sure that you copy the HTTP colon slash slash in front of the URL. Now, when you copy everything in the address bar in Google Chrome, the browser program realizes you want to copy the HTTP colon slash slash and does that automatically. Okay, that's all you need to do in YouTube. Just copy that one line of code. Now, I'm going to click here. This brings us back into our live blog just so we can get our bearings for this tutorial and now I'm going to click on this tab on the far left of my browser and this brings me into the dashboard of my blog Jim's Max GXL marketing team where I've already logged in now after you're in the dashboard just click on posts go to the post where you want to add the video which is test post number 10 horses and make sure that you are not in the visual tab, make sure in the HTML tag tab. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down, look for that sentence. This is a great post about horses. And I said I wanted to add the or embed the video, auto embed the video after this line. So I'm just going to hit the enter or return key a couple of times. Now I've got the space here. I'm going to click here with my mouse, right click, and then left click on the word paste. And that's all you have to do, just paste that one line of code. So if you can copy and paste, then you can auto-embed a YouTube video into your blog post or page. And that's it. I'm just going to hit Update. I'm going to go back to the blog post. And right under, this is a great post about horses, right here, you're going to see the auto-embedded video after I refresh or reload the page by clicking on this icon in my browser. And there it is. You've got one video on on top and below, this is a great post about horses, yay, you have the video that was auto-embedded. So this gives me a chance to compare auto-embedding with manually embedding. Now on below we have the auto-embed. Now you don't, you have a gray down here for the frame or the controls of the video. Now when you manually embed you could choose from different colors like orange, red, blue, etc. Auto embed you don't have that choice. Now we also you can see that this video fills up the complete column for blog posts. There's no room on the right for margin or padding. It just fills it all up from the left to the right and it the point is you really don't have control of the size of your video. Now if we go back to the manually embedded video, I was able to reduce the size and I can also align the video to the left or to the right or to the center. I chose to have it aligned to the center. If I wanted to make this even smaller, I can do that. When you auto embed, you can't do that. 
Okay, so that's basically the differences between auto embed and manually embedding. And if you want to review manually embedding, just go to the video that I created called Adding a YouTube Video to a Blog, Post, or Page. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.